foot two, white female. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long that even my mama thinks that my mind is gone. Freeze, nobody move. Shoot. She was super bossy. Give me some pies, give me some of the good pies. No screwing around. That's, that's your finger, though. Is it? You knocked over a topper, Jack. Do you want some pies? You want pies? Yes, please. I feel like we're kind of getting somewhere, and under different circumstances, we'd probably be, you know, good pals, like find like a hot tub or. I actually have one in my apartment complex. Fingers crossed, we we meet up again. Grandma, I don't know where I'm going. I've always wanted to go to Niagara Falls. How about a beer? No. Whiskey. No. Oh my God. You're pregnant. I'm driving a car. You're a fugitive from justice. Look out, fish! You're gonna have to come with us. Let's go. Oh, come on, Let's man. Let's go, man. Get! I just... I... Ow. Are you serious? There was a bee! There's no bees here, ma'am. There was a bee! Here, just throw the money through the window and we'll get out of here. There's two of them. We're gonna need more pies. America, huh? What have you ever done that's that cool? I watched Neil Armstrong walk on the moon. On his bike? Neil. Ooh, I want to like this so badly, but it's making it very difficult right now. Uh, I really kind of like the first teaser trailer for this because it made me laugh, and bottom line, that's what comedy is supposed to do. But I have to say, I wish they hadn't used so much of the teaser trailer in this first official trailer, because it's already playing like a repeat, and it can't make me laugh because I've already seen it. Uh, also, some people have been commenting that Melissa McCarthy seems to be, uh, I'm trying to put this delicately, uh, using her size as almost a comedic crutch. And I do get that sense myself a little bit. Uh, I think that she... With all due respect to Chris Farley, who was a beloved comedian, I think that Melissa McCarthy is smarter and more talented than having to resort to just merely being the female Chris Farley. I think she should be a comedian in her own right. Uh, so I see elements of that here, though, which disappoints me. Also, at least she's trying, though. At least she's trying to build a character. Uh, I've seen some people say they like when she runs away from the police. That is also my favorite bit uh, in this trailer because I think it's funny that she just gives it the old try, but is clearly so unable to escape from them. Uh, and I like, they're like, really? Come on, ma'am. Really? Are you really going to try this? Because I think it just reminds me of actual encounters of real life you know, low-level criminals with the police. So I like that bit of realism. However, it seems a little bit like it's lifted from uh, Identity Thief, where she was running from Jason Bateman. Uh, so I hope that this, I hope there's more fresh material here, both from what we're already seeing uh, and from her other work. But as I said, I appreciate that Melissa McCarthy is making an effort here. And I wish that I could say the same of Susan Sarandon. I like this pairing, but I almost wish that Kathy Bates was playing her grandmother, because I feel that Kathy Bates and Melissa McCarthy could really go toe-to-toe -to -toe in terms of character acting and character comedy, whereas Susan Sarandon seems to have put on a lot of uh, comedic physical elements like that crazy, uh, I guess she's trying to be funny with her hair choice and like uh, she's going to, you know, drink in the car and she's trying to get Melissa McCarthy's character to drink, uh, but yet she's not actually putting herself out there uh, in terms of her persona. She's not really taking any risks. She's not, I guess, you know, it's a common thing in comedy where some actresses don't want to not look pretty and I feel like that's what Susan Sarandon is doing. I wish she could just leave, check her ego at the door and just really get down and dirty with uh, Melissa McCarthy. And some of the comedy stuff that she's doing, I mean, she's She's working off of a script here, so it's not entirely her fault, but it's just coming across as almost like um, an improv class when someone's trying to be zany uh, and they can't come up with anything, so they're kind of really scraping the bottom of the barrel. Uh, but I really want to like this movie. I really am a big Melissa McCarthy fan. 
Uh, just in general, I really think she has a lot to add to the comedy landscape, and I want her to be somebody that we haven't seen before. And so, no, no, on the female Chris Farley, Melissa McCarthy, you have to forge your own path, as we all know that you can. So I'm hoping that the second trailer for this will be a little bit better uh, and have mo uh, more new material. But I guess not too much, because then what will be left for the movie. But interestingly, this movie is coming out almost unopposed on the 4th of July weekend. So we'll see how much money she can make uh, her third time out post-Bridesmaids. The first two did very well, uh, and if she can do three, well, that'll be very impressive. And she'll have uh, her choice of whatever she wants in Hollywood, although to some degree I think she does now. So what do you guys think? Do you think that the female Chris Farley comparison is uh, valid, or do you think that Melissa McCarthy is being unique here on her own? Do you like this movie? Is it not getting in its way at all? Do you have no problems with it? And also, what do you think of Susan Sarandon? Do you think she's a good choice opposite uh, Melissa McCarthy? Or would you also have preferred Kathy Bates to step up uh, to the main role instead of the supporting role she seems to have here? So write your thoughts down below. I'm very curious to how you guys feel about this. Melissa McCarthy is becoming somewhat of a divisive uh, character uh, in, the, in the Hollywood uh, landscape of stars, uh, and so I'm, I'm always interested to know where she falls with you guys. So write your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for your, com uh, for your comments and for tuning in, and you can check out some more episodes right now.